At the end of this year, we are glad to announce that we now support Apple Low Latency HLS in a couple of our products. Those products are Nimble Streamer and SLDP Player for iOS. Nimble Streamer can take any live input and produce low latency HLS as output for three different containers. As Apple hasn't yet released the low latency HLS from beta stage, the playback is not yet available in the App Store. So if you'd like to test the playback, you can subscribe to our iOS SDK for SLDP Player and build your own app to test uh, the output stream of Nimble Streamer if you want to. It also supports any other live streams like Wowza or any other server that supports it. The key advantage of low latency HLS is that it uses partial segments for delivery of the content. It uses HTTP2 for delivery, which gives additional advantages. Uh, in order to make low latency HLS work on Nimble Streamer, you need to enable HTTP2 as described in this article. You can find the link in the description. At the setting up live streaming, you can select any of three containers that are currently supported by Nimble Streamer and enable Apple latency HLS for it. Notice that each container has its own limitations due to the fact that the technology is still in beta stage. So you should be aware of that and read our article for more details. Uh, this article also contains the examples of playlist uh, and explanation of key features that make the specification, this protocol, more advanced than the regular version of HLS. Particularly, this is uh, the parts, uh, the whole playlist request, and pushes of uh, parts that were previously requested. As was mentioned earlier, this technology is still in beta stage, so there are a couple of known issues which you need to be aware of when testing this capability. So please read this article carefully to find out more. You'll find all the links in the description to this video.